Okay, so now we are going to talk about adding coins together. Because we know we don't always just count in pennies or dimes or nickels or quarters. So in order to count coins, we have to mix together our knowledge of skip counting and our knowledge of addition. So let's just take example one. I know I have two quarters and a dime. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend my dime isn't here and I'm going to skip count my quarters because I know they're worth the same. So I'm going to skip count 25, 50 because 25 plus 25 is 50. And then I'm going to add my dime, which adds 10 more. So I have 50 plus 10, which gives me 60. So right here, I have 60 cents and I can write it either one of these two ways. Now example two, I have four coins to count. I have two dimes, a nickel, and a penny. So the first thing I'm gonna do is count my dimes because I know they're worth the same. So I have 10, 20. So I have 20 cents in dimes, and then I'm gonna add my nickel, which is five cents. So I know I have 20 plus five more is 25. And then I have my penny. Well, my penny is only worth one, so I just have to have 25 plus one, which is 26. So I have 26 cents here in front of me. So the easiest thing to do when we're counting coins is to put the ones that are alike together and count those first and then add on. Now I challenge you to go find coins in your house and sort them by what you know they look like and then practice skip counting them, and then practice pulling out a random amount of coins and counting it and adding it up. So we increase our knowledge of coins and how to count them.